Where? Wow. I haven't gotten that yet. Yeah, no, message. they... They really fucked me over. Wait, how, if you released Venice, how come they didn't get Venice? Yeah, I was thinking about it. <laughs> it was um, occupied by rebels. But they the have a core on it. Venetian patriots, too. Yeah, it was occupied by Venetian patriots at the time, so they couldn't, they couldn't be, that couldn't be a part of the but, peace deal. But as soon as the Venice existed, Venetian patriots ceased to exist, because there's now Venice. Yeah. Wow. It's one hell of a conflict of interest. Oh my god, well, there goes all of my groups again. At least you still have base hack 11 men as you do. Jeez, Shan, some of the land in Egypt is really bad. Yep. Like, you'd, you'd think Alexandria would be like 10, and Cairo would be like, I don't know, 15 or something. But everything that isn't those two is just like one. Everything yeah, is one. there's a lot of crap. Tanai is one. Andrev is one. Jeez. Yeah, I'm surprised the Middle East is such low base tax. I mean, cities are pretty big, right? Some of it's okay. It, it, the, if you get into the area around what? Iraq and Persia, there's a lot of like eights and nines, but... But they're well, surrounded by just ones. Declared war on me. Oh, you're done. Well, you're weak. They're my ally. No, they were your ally. Did they did they break their alliance first? Oh my god. Oh my f what the hell? So England, you can take out Brittany or what? You have them at 100%. Oh shit. Denmark integrated Norway. Apparently My fleet are on the way, Sam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently, Brittany is 120% to vassalize. So England can't just outright vassalize them. Which makes sense. It's like five provinces. So does Barg Barg not have a uh, mic? No, apparently not. Are you just gonna annex them? He does, but he's not on the team too, for whatever reason. I don't know. He does, but he said doesn't work. Yeah, that's reason. what he says. It just he says I just can't get it to work, and his big chat is messing up. Yep. Well, there's no chance of Sweden getting out of that union now. Well, Denmark does have negative prestige. They, they integrated Norway with negative prestige? So, can I put the speed up? Uh, I'm good yeah. With it. I'd like yeah. It, yeah. Go for it. Yay. Does Novgorod still exist? Because I can't see any of their provinces. Yeah, there's. I'm crushing the pirates. Do they own like all of like the Finland Kola area? Finland, Arkhangelsk, and Kola. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, Muscovy finally got his ass and did some stuff. Oh my God! What the hell? France is under a personal is is in a personal union under Savoy. <laughs> what? What? 
<laughs> France is under Savoy. I mean, France is under Savoy. I haven't been annexed by someone yet. Are you serious? Uh, so, like, we need to be personal union with France. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> that is awesome. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> Time to get buddy buddy with Savoy. Savoy! Ally! Savoy ally, ally, ally me now. Oh, they're so close to allying me. It's negative one. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at their prestige. They're not going to keep the union. I don't even care. I want them to be my friend in the time being. How long has that lasted? Like only like a couple months or something? I don't know, but it kind of ex it explains. Uh... Actually, they, I have no idea why they weren't support. even in your war when they started it. So it's probably new. No, I think so. No, Savoy was. Savoy. I thought Savoy France. was in my war, but it, it doesn't say, say he is. No, it was it was Milan in Tuscany. Savoy wasn't. In it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Savoy would take an alliance. Yes. <laughs> I have an alliance, Savoy. Bow down. Is this is oh, hey. looking at France and seeing they won't accept an alliance. They are a subject nation. France is a subject nation. So, Can you imagine uh, living in France and be like, what? Savoy so wants a royal marriage now. Watch, I'm gonna so, inherit. I'm gonna inherit both of their personal unions. Just, just watch. So, the coalition against me has ne is now just Milan, which is really great for my situation. That's good. Your situation? Uh, yeah. Bohemia is still at war with me. Despite being... Despite, despite having a royal marriage with them. Well, now that I have France, I just kind of want to, like, invade some, like, humongous, like, steel. <sighs> I actually have an ally. What a concept. Go for Castile. Totally See if Castile. Savoy would, would join you in a war against Castile. Castile likes me now. Sent oh, away. really? See if... See if France would join Castile, you in a war Castile against... Castile would join... Would, it would give me an alliance. Things are turning up quite well. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know whether what to do about that. Should I actually take an alliance with Castile? Because they're not allied with Naples anymore. I can just go after them. Yeah. Oh, I just got a boundary dispute. Who's this on? On Castile. I get a claim. I feel Galicia. like <laughs> if there was a wrath of time, your success would, would go up. Like, your success would, like the opposite of my success no oh, yeah probably it's probably over exactly time correct. yeah okay i don't know what to do i should i could either ally castile or get a claim on galicia with this event hmm ally castile and go after naples or go after castile with france i think in the long run going after naples is probably actually better for me so so do it i'm a what do it Alright. I still have to press the issue with Castile, but... Oh, now they have a what? negative opinion of me. Damn it. The fucking and now they're hell. Hostile to me. Oh my god, never mind. That was absolutely a worthless idea. I'm just gonna go to work with them. I didn't really have a choice, I guess. I'm in another war with France. Really? That's How? Okay, the, uh... Truce? No, the Palinate declared war against me, and they were allied with Savoy. <laughs> uh brilliant. That sucks. So, do you think I could, uh, get... Oh my god, what in the world is this? Granada before they, yeah, you know what? 
I'm just gonna do it right now. Okay, Portugal, like right now, declare, declare war on Naples to distract Savoy in France. <laughs> I'm declaring yeah. war to steal. It's a much bigger distraction. Alright, go, go for it. I just. Uh, I want to give provinces to Granada, except. I feel like I'm not gonna have the time because they're at 94%, even though they're going up only 0.68 a month. It wouldn't do you any good because they won't be able to court in time. Hey, guess what? Venice is no, no, now they part are of their the course. HRE. That's the thing is that like I want to give Almeria and and Gibraltar back to Granada. They're still Granada cores, but I don't know if I can do it in time. I think I can actually because it's going really slowly. Uh, maybe I don't know. Hmm, my air died. Damn it. Oh well, new air is good. Little young. How young? Zero. <laughs> nice. What, what's it, what are his stats? Five, four, three. Wow, you just noticed we have a dynasty, Clark. We've, I've had, this is the fourth Jose of Lancaster of Portugal. The fourth. You just noticed. You gotta remember, England's using empirical units. Yeah, right. Oh my okay. god. Okay, I'm at 95.4%. I don't, don't. This is the most it. ridiculous set of events. Do you think it's Palinate worth it just won't to, even wait? Do you think it's worth it just to cancel the annexation of Granada at like ninety four percent to give them those two provinces? Hmm, I don't know. I have really good tech compared to steel. On military actually no it's the same. England, do you want to, like, you know, get in on this Castile thing since they hate you and you should hate them back? <laughs> I am really hating the Palinate right now. They are massive... ...shitheads. Alright. You do your own thing. Okay. Is taking land in Spain actually worth it? I don't even know. Eh, yeah, I think it is. diplomats to I am now going to take out my Never anger mind. on Bohemia who are mm, just oh, god damn it kill them all I'm going to murder yeah. everyone just, I'm going to burn Bohemia into dust I mean that may be a little hard since they're occupying Osmark right now so Aw, oh, Naples is allied with some boy. You're kidding. Why did why do all these nations like me all of a sudden? This is this is strange. I'm not used to this. Hmm. Spread our culture to Karaman. Why would I do that? 
No. Conquer Tabuk. Well, he does have no allies. Ooh. I cannot get any of these provinces in Brazil to be discovered, no matter what I do. They're just, they're just the ocean tiles. You what still have an explorer, right? Would that even be possible? I do. What? Would it even be possible for Savoy to inherit France? Yeah, of course. It'd be possible, I doubt it will happen. I don't have... Wow, I have lost all of my barks. They're all gone. They still have negative prestige, so they're gonna lose the... the Union. But yeah, it's, it's possible. It's just not likely. relations with Oman. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I think I'll just tell Castile to release Granada since I just integrated them. Uh, slowly colonizing my way around Africa. <laughs> oh, you made it to Cape Town yet? South America's mine. Leave it alone. Not if you can't see it. I know it's there. You know something interesting they're gonna do in Conquest of Paradise is make it so that your map, like at the bottom right, it like grays out the parts that you can't see. Really? I yep. oh yeah I I saw their um their newsletter when they uh, uh with them talking about how they were gonna have a completely random mm -hmm. Americas and I was so that made me so excited I am so damn I didn't excited even for this I didn't even understand what it meant because I thought it just meant like it would have random natives in different places and I'm like fuck that's so weird Did you not go to the live stream? No, I didn't. They I was at school. they displayed their their early early version of the random system, and it was exactly what you would think it was. It's sort of like a civilization game where you have a random map. That sounds pretty cool, but like the thing is, how much of how much of it's gonna be like wasteland and stuff? Because these continents, a humongous portion of them, is wasteland and colonizable. There wasn't any wasteland. At least not on the early version. They're probably going to put just put wasteland in like the very center of some continents that are really that have like a certain like set uh, width and um, height and like near and wherever um, wherever like the edge of the map hits a continent. Oh my god, I can see Brazil. Hey, hallelujah. And it's just barely out of my colonial range. Oh my god. Well, get your Diplotech up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Apparently, Britain is down to Florida. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, Burke, Burke's been doing so much not work. Not in, 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 in vision. Not in a... Like I just got poor iron quality and it makes it so my artillery costs more and I don't have unlock I don't have any artillery. I don't haven't unlocked it. Yeah, your theoretical artillery must suck. There's still no statesman available. 50 years of this crap. What do statesmen do? They make everything awesome. They add uh, five. There's, there's 
no natives on Cape Verde. Statesman adds five to your diplomatic reputation, which directly influences what people will say yes to when you discuss things at the at the table. So like vassalization or alliances or whatever. Doesn't it also directly affect how quickly you vass or annex things? Yes. Oh, I've had a I've had statesmen for most of the game. Uh, Morocco's gonna become. I've had it through the whole uh. game so far, at least. Also, I get a bunch of bonuses to um, my relation to my my diplomatic rela uh, re r r reputation as Austria. Yep, Austria gets bonuses for that. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just, everybody's gonna love Austria. I'm just like Raymond. I don't get it. There's a show called Everybody Loves Raymond. I'm too young. Uh, I don't Ming understand. Ming has managed to spend 4,000 gold somehow. They probably built a bunch of buildings. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I haven't even heard of this theoretical number named Thousand. From what I can see of Ming, they've built pretty much every building they have the tech for. What's a building? What? I don't think I, I haven't built a single building this entire playthrough. I've a built uh, quite a few buildings, actually, with all this money I've been getting. Yeah, well. Also, just so all of you know, I'm going to fuck Bohemia up the ass so hard. Their On descendants camera? can okay. no longer live. <laughs> hmm, the Ottomans moved their capital to Kastamonu. Which continent is that? Um, well... Everything that the Ottomans own is in Europe. In EU4, Anatolia is Europe. Okay. That makes little sense. But okay. I guess that would be kind of hard for the AI to deal with. That, like, having overseas territories that you could walk across. Yeah. But I mean, even if you, I mean, you even own some land that's technically in Europe, though. Yes, we do. So uh, you have land, so is your capital in Africa or is it in Asia? Our capital is Africa, most of our land is in Asia, and we have four provinces in Europe. And do you have to have, do you have, like, no production there, it's just the tariffs? Exactly. I think that they should have some sort of exception with continuous borders you mean to contiguous contiguous i didn't know how to say the word anyway so well contiguous. the the problem isn't the problem isn't really the borders to me it's more of um how far away is it like portugal if he has lands in africa that's distant overseas that's tariffs that's you know you can't convert this you can't tax this there's huge revolt risk you can't annex this shit all because it's distant overseas. It takes forever to core. But that's just dumb. It really should be based on exactly how far away it is, you know? Yeah, distant overseas isn't really distant if it's literally like it borders. Yeah. yeah. Or if it's just across the, the Gibraltar right there. Oh, great. It um, might have some kind of balancing uh, reason for it. The only so advisors I can get are level threes. Wonderful. You can only get level three. Only level threes. I can't afford any of this crap. Nice. The cheapest one is 198.6 ducats. Lithuania is going at Crimea, finishing them off. No! Is the Georgia player still here? Yep. 
Uh, yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't annexed uh, Armenia. Yeah, why haven't you annexed Armenia? Uh, relations and then that war. You're not at war. I was, or the war with oh. the Ottomans. There's, there's so few players left now. Saxony will cede buttfuck land to Brunswick. <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. Oh my god, I got a cardinal. Fine. Oh, Britain officially has complete control of the British Isles. Or England. Yeah, they annexed Tyrone. Yep. And half of Iceland, they own Reykjavik. With its fabulous one base tax. I'm about to meet the Aztec. You know, I'm really glad Savoy is a is an AI controlled country that wouldn't exploit the um, the personal union it has over France and then just completely wreck my shit. You know, it'd be nice if the AI would actually make an effort to hold on to a personal union. He's sitting there at negative thirty something prestige. And if he went to war, just one war, he would get that prestige up above zero because France would win all those battles for him. But he's not doing a damn thing. Yeah. I just, you just, when you said prestige, I looked at mine, I noticed it's actually positive for like the first time. I have 12. 14. 14. Oh, it's because I'm doing all this exploring. You get way too much for doing that. What's it like? You get two percentile, you see. I used to have 100 prestige, but then. Fucking France happened. Fucking France. Fuck France, man. I think I think every single paradox game ever can be summed up with fuck France. The BBB. In, in, including, including Mountain Blade. Mountain Blade. What about Fire and Sword? Still no French in there. That's that's the joke. I'm I'm saying there aren't any French in Mountain Blade, but all all paradox games can be summed up with fuck the French. <laughs> Maybe. Well, no, Arthur, uh, isn't there someone French in Mountain Blade? Like one of the characters. Well, in um in Fire and Sword, there's like those three guys at the very beginning. Who I think no, are French. that's right, that's right. There you go. You suspect them of being French. No, I think they are. They're, they're from France. It's like some backstory from getting thrown out of Paris. What just happened? They just cleared war. I uh, think so they realized... I think they realized fuck the Castilian France conquest and left. The, the Castilian conquest of Gascon. Oh my god. Well, I'm at war with Castile and Aragon. I didn't want to be. Enjoy. I am absolutely unprepared. Oh well. Wow, and all of Castile's allies, like Tuscany and uh, Naples, they were both allied with Savoy and Castile, and they all went to Savoy's side. Well... They're not stupid? 
And this is a good opportunity for Savoy to get some prestige to hold on to that union. Yeah, but... Yeah. Castile is attacking France for Gazgun. Why? Why? They don't even have a... Oh, yeah, they do. They have a claim on it, but it doesn't even directly border them. They didn't even go after, like, Bjorn or the board. Morocco is just getting destroyed by the Sunni zealots. <laughs> oh yeah, they'll they'll go Sunni. I was hoping they wouldn't, but I didn't really expect it. <laughs> France is going to lose a huge battle to Castile right now. It's Good. On Fuck France. No. Go France. Fuck Castile. You kidding? <laughs> I would just fuck I everybody. I guess we can disagree to fuck different people. <laughs> I'm, I'm just glad that France is drafted with uh, Castile. I want to get something out of this war. I can actually peace out with Castile individually, which is good. I, I don't even want land in Spain. I want like Sardinia or Sicily. Guys, guys, guess what? Admin Tech Five. Congratulations. You are now at the same level I am. I can get temples? What? <laughs> What's a temple? I have a feeling that Savoy is actually going to lose this war. Uh, versus Castile and Aragon? That's not even possible. No, no, just these battles. Castile is winning everything. Naval, land. Because the, the French don't have their armies, like, they're so spread out. They'll Castile group it up. Is, they're picking them off. They'll get it together. I hope so, because I don't want to, like, Get, get owned. Oh, they finally won a battle. Never mind. But hey, do you do any of you know if Musby's started colonizing? Uh, well, they don't have expansion ideas, so they can't be. Yes, they can. It can. What? Oh, it's the Russian, Russian ideas. ideas. They are only one inch of Russian ideas. 
which one is it that gives you a colonist? I don't know. I doubt it's the first one, so the answer is probably no. Unless it is All the right. first one. It is kind of early for colonization anyway. Yeah. Unless you're England, apparently. I, I don't think he's actually colonized. I think he was just saying that he saw Florida, or he could, he's exported. But I can't, I can't even colonize over there. I, I, I colonized Cape Verde, that's about it. <laughs> have, have you you're, colonized You're finally on the path of the true Portugal. Yep, finally. You're also keeping Spain from farming, aren't you? Yeah, because I have Granada. Lol. What does that even do to them? Is it just like... Like... What does forming Spain do for Castile? What else do they... What do they get? There's probably... There's probably some sort of bonus. Well, and of this course, will... uni being unified with Aragon. Well, this is what they get for not annexing Granada straight away. Hey, are you guys seeing how deep I am into Bohemia? How's that working out for you? It's it's quite the stressful relieval relieval. I have to say. Uh, Bart, I don't really understand what you're trying to say. I'm like, what saying. What does that connotate? No, no, I'm talking about what Bart said. Uh... Saying, oh. Chat. Saying something about crusades and something. I don't know. <laughs> oh shit. Castillo has a 40 stack. And France can't do anything. Oh, he's talking about how there's still a crusade on you, Jen. And he, you, ha you, how you think that <laughs> there'd be like an expiration date or something? Oh yeah, that reminds me. I should get rid of that. Well, what's I mean, silly really is do anything. what's silly is nobody can even use it. Well, I mean, I'm on the track of taking over Africa, so one day. Yeah, but that's what in in Crusader Kings two. If there's a crusade. Any Catholic nation can join it. They're like, oh, yeah, I won't, I won't go do that. And they go do it. That's it. But in here, you have to actually border them, or else you can't do it. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. It's just, like, it's just a Holy War CV, isn't it? It's not actually like Crusade, is it? It's a Holy War CV, so, which means you already have to border them. Yeah. yeah you think we actually add in some extra, like, mechanic? I mean, Spice it up a little. Oh, it's saying, um, the Pope. I'm trying to call a crusade against the Ottomans, and it's saying the Pope ha has already called the crusade. We must wait for it to end before calling another. Alright, Shannon, I have to take you out. How do you how do you end a crusade? It's you a time limit. Really? There is there is a time limit? Yeah, I don't know what the time is though. It's a ridiculous time limit then. Well, we're on speed too. When was it called? Like thirty years ago? Yeah, around then. Oh, it's gonna last till fifteen oh six, so another nine years. Fun. I bet I can do that. There, sh there should be a crusade called against the Ottomans. It'd be. I feel like they're kind of just like a punching bag, and they haven't actually done anything wrong. 
Well, just, I mean, like, the there. Ottomans are just about the only country that that anyone would would be able to go to war against with a holy war crusade. I think we should have a holy war in Algiers. That's my that's my vote, Algiers. You still don't border them. Yeah, I, I realize. I'm trying to like take provinces from Castile, so I'll share a C zone and I can fabricate a claim and then take one of their provinces. And then I can do that. But I don't know. That I'll just lose two stability and annex Tunis or something. Guys, startling development. I'm not red on the tech map anymore. No. Oh. Hey, neither am I. I am now orange. Well, I'm a darker orange, so. Oh yeah, I'm still I'm still a ugly yellow color in a sea of green, which really sucks. I'm five four eight, which is what? Let's see if I can count. 17? And Jan is 17. Yeah, we have the same color, but yours looks more light. Hmm. Oh, my really good air died, and... This one's okay. 353. Oh, guys, guess what the name of my heir is? Uh, Hussein? Suze. Or, um, Suze. Jose again. Jose, yeah, that's it. Yep. I, so I, I apparently named my, my, both of my kids Jose. Oh, Pretty it might sure. not be a kid. It might be, um, a you cousin or like a brother. He's six years old, so, doubt it, but, yeah. Apparently they just have a thing. He will be King Jose the Fifth. Or no, no, he won't. Do you feel like Paradox is kind of racist and just like thinking, oh, everybody no, in Portugal no. is named Jose? I'm sure there's just like a name pool based off the of culture, your primary culture. You know, it says here if you die, uh, you're looking at a pretender rising, which means if England wanted to, they could claim your throne right now. That sounds opportune for them, except I'm allied with Savoy and France and Austria. So. You're actually who, not allied with uh, oh, that's Austria. Right. That's right. I switched to France. Who is. England doesn't even have any allies. England has no allies. So. There's that. Oh my god. You have completely destroyed Bohemia. Yeah, I know. I thought wait, I got tired same... of losing all of these wars, and I've just decided to screw Bohemia. Is, is that the same war that they declared on you? Yeah, it is. Oh, should wreck them. Yeah, no, I'm taking away their elector elector right. Uh. Something is wrong here. What? My army are in the same problems as Malva's army, and I'm in war with Malva right now. I'm attacking for a province, and I I can't seem to come into conflict with them for some reason. Your yeah. armies, your armies yeah. are not in the same provinces as Malva. What? You're not. Your armies are in the same province as Garjit and Kandesh. How can you see over there? Magic. Like, I get that you can see India, but how do you see the units? I don't know. No, no, no. No, there's the one from the left one, from the one that is getting siege. My army and Marvel's army are in that province. Where? 
Eh, ma... Uh, no, non si. Sì. Damn Marco it. Shua, because I because I didn't call an elector elector war, I can't actually take away uh, Bohemia's electorate. Ah, uh, isn't that a hundred percent war score to do that? Yeah. No, it's it is. Yeah. yeah. It's really ridiculous. A lot of the HRE stuff, like revoke, revoking a single imperial reform is a hundred percent war score. Prax, try throwing your units back down to Barar and then back up. Ah, uh, okay, they came into Exama because I just pieced out Beng Bengal. Okay, see, knew it. Oh, Brandenburg got some land. I just finished exploration ideas and now I have a castle belly in the Aztec. Wow, 22 aggressive expansion. Did, did you need more aggressive expansion? Yes. Okay. I'm not getting pop-ups for peace deals. What's going on? Oh my god, you took so much land. Or, no, it's just two provinces, but it looks like a lot. Os, you took Moravia and... Gomorald. Aaron, how close are you to losing that accurate. province? There's like no progress on it, so... These war scores are so ridiculous. It's 25% to release Granada with two provinces in Castile. It's 22% it's, it's just to release Sardinia, which is one province. Although battling the Ottomans is really annoying. Yeah, they get a lot of bonuses. Oh wow, <laughs> Balochistan has taken three provinces in India. Isn't Balochistan in India? No, it's in. Yeah. Uh, it's like in Persia. No. Friesland is declared war on Holland. I thought you had Holland. No, 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 the country, the, there's a province named Holland, and there's a country named Holland, and they're two different places. But Holland, Holland, uh, Zealand. Yeah. Sure. But wait, I thought you sold Zealand to uh, Friesen. No, I had to release it in that ridiculous fucking war. God damn it, I'm still really pissed about the, that. The Savoy, it was like, it was Milan and Savoy in a coalition against me. Wait, no, it was, it was Milan and France in a coalition against me. And then, and then Savoy got a personal union over France and went to, and was allied with the Palinate and the Palinate went to war with me. And so they, and so they brought Savoy into it, which brought France into it. Oh God, Sounds that was like a lot so of much fun. That was so much bullshit wrapped up into a... God damn it. Guys, look at Castile. Yeah, I think someone said Castile was gonna win that war, but I don't know. 
Well, I, I turned the tide. This. You're right, uh, France got their, got their shit together. They, they lost like 20,000 men in the process. They didn't need to, but I guess you're good. Actually, I don't see Man, France's I wish anywhere. I got that kind of luck when fucking over France. Where, where is France's army? What the hell? France has an army? They should. They had like 60,000 guys, and all I see is 12. Where are they? That's really bizarre. Wow, they only have 12k. So, yeah. It's basically me that's just winning this war, since everyone destroyed each other's armies. Castile won't even give me Cadiz. Look how much I'm occupying. They won't even give me just Cadiz. Heh. <laughs> Denmark had to give up Holstein. Yeah, I saw that. What happened? Uh... Denmark got a whole bunch of rebels. It had a... It had a peasants war. Yeah, but the end of the Peasants' War, they were still whole. They didn't lose that during the Peasants' War. I've lost my cores on this landing Granada. The hell? Oh, I really don't like the mechanism where your allies and your vassals stand on your troops. I'm sitting here getting war exhaustion every month because my vassals won't leave me alone. Go away. They just, they just want to be part of it, you know? You should be able to give your vassals an order, like GTFO. You should just be able to just, like, control their armies, like, outright, if you want to. Like, they're, 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 they're the own independent army, but when you're at war, you should be able just to, like, mandate where they go and stuff. So how do I how do I form the Austro-Hungarian Empire? I don't think you can do that in EU4. I think that's a that's kind of after after this when this game ends, right? Alright. Really? Yeah, yeah this, that happens like in Victoria 2 time period, right? I think. I don't know. Hmm, I th like, I thought you could do it in this game. I don't know. Because I know that you can have like events to get a personal union with Hungary. I just got an alliance with Hungary because I was just looking at them and they like me. Um, but I, I don't think you can actually form the nation of Austria-Hungary. I think you can just get a personal union with Hungary. Because I know right. that like, historically, they didn't change the actual name to Austria-Hungary until, like, the 1800s or something. Alright. I'm just wondering... I'm just wondering how I get the personal union, then. It's through a mission, I think. There's an there's a mission event thing. Oh my god, I still have the... Uh, I, um... Mission to vassalize the Papal State. Do it. 
You have a mission for that? Yeah, no, I, I have a mission to vassalize the Papal State. That's pretty badass. I really don't want this war to end, and just, like I get nothing out of it. Because look how much I've sieged. Wow, 41 aggressive expansion? Oh, I have, I have uh, 80 of our extension right now. Uh, Friesland? Crashed. Oh boy. So much for the Dutch. Well, good night, I guess. I mean, yeah. Yep, good night, guys. Hindustan. Oh, Hindustan. I saw it change in the player list. Oh, what the hell? I alt tab for like two seconds and Castile has an army. What? What is this nonsense? They were just waiting for you to look away. Yeah. Oh, but Fran France is gonna go smash them now. They just rebuilt their army really quick. Wow, Ming has 75,000 troops. What the hell? Hooray! Ming has uh, me as a rival from the start of the game for some reason. I got my land from Granada back. <laughs> and you pissed off Savoy. Did I? Oh yeah, separate piece, whatever. Well, they were gonna end it, and they wouldn't give, wouldn't have given me anything. Yeah, I know. Because that was like kind of, It's kind of silly that the AI gets pissed off at you for a separate peace deal, even though you know that they will never give you a goddamn thing. Yeah, it's like it's actually doing better for them because now they can even weaken them more. Yep. But on their own. AI doesn't get that. I like how Ar Aragon still likes me. But Castile, Castile absolutely hates me. No, oh, Brittany. Oh, Brittany still exists, but all of its land has been given to Normandy. So my buddy Persia declared war on the Timurids. And he's losing horribly. He can't... The, the Timurids armies are just too strong. He's, so he's getting wiped out. Keeps rebuilding his units. Keeps getting wiped out. But... The Timurids have rebels, and the rebels are flipping land to Persia during the war. Persia's doubled in size during this war, even though they've been getting crushed. That's... that's like one step forward, two steps back. That's bizarre. That's hilarious. Oh my god, Savoy is killing my Granada and Patriots for me. Savoy, I love you. Oh my god. I have six out of four Diplo relations. Eh. Man, I really wish I would just get a personal union over over all of these royal marriages I have. If only it I'm were that easy. I'm gonna have to break royal ties with Aragon because I can't take this one displo with one diplo hit. Whatever, less stability for me. Like, okay, Naples still has its troops in Rome and in the Azores. Like, even during this war, and we're allied. Like, he's he's thinking ahead. You, you just can't you just can't see the angles he's working. 
He can't do anything. The Holy Inquisition. Let's see, either piss off the Pope or get more tech costs and some papal influence. Fuck the Pope. That's what I have to say. Fuck the Pope. <laughs> so has anything gone Protestant yet? Uh, nope. When, do, when does that usually start? Like, 15? Right now. 1500, yeah. 1500. I just got the Inquisition event. So I decided just to take the <gasps> Pope and not do it. Lithuania lost their union with Poland. Oh, of course. Oh, no giant Commonwealth blob. Negative 14 oh prestige. E4 uh, just crashed. Ugh, God damn it. Another one? Well... You did form Hindustan. Well, yeah, right after it crashed. This year, got a goal. Shit, I may form Spain militarily. Watch out. <laughs> Gotta fix that outliner. Five players were less than a third. Wow. Start. Lithuania yeah. had 45 war score on the Ottomans. War's been going on for years. They took 14 oh. ducats. Oh my god, I was just looking at that war seriously. Oh, I hate this event. The sweating sickness. Lose lots of money, lose stability, or lose lots of diplo. Lose money. Oh crap. I just did that, didn't I? I I looked at I, I noticed I had that thing like you, you can do important decisions and I mm. noticed it was statue and it was statue of the restraints of repeals. Yeah. And I clicked it. Oh. And now Naples hates me. <laughs> oh. Cause that that's the one that pisses off all the Catholics. I don't even remember what it does, I just clicked it on anything because I thought it'd be like formalized weights and measurements and wouldn't have a downside. Oh that's a good one, yeah. Yeah. What does that do that makes you, like, makes the Catholics hate you, but less revolt risk or some stability bullcrap? I don't know. I don't remember fully, because I never say yes to it. Well, who knows? Hey, whatever happens to the save games from, uh, subscriber multiplayer matches? Oh, I've, I've been saving it periodically. So, I, in case I want to play this on single player. Can anyone else see Persia? No, I can, you're as far as I can see. I can't even see, uh, Kara Uh, uh, Shan. Huh? There is, like, three people in chat I want to join, including me. So... Would you mind like just saving the game and re-hosting it so we can get some more people in? I'm down with that. Yeah, okay. Let's save the game, um, load it back up again as the as the multiplayer game. And then while we're waiting for all that to go on, we can just take a little break. Yeah, get your I legs. That's well, if we take a break, I'm going to go to bed because it's 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. I'm yeah, tired me too. too. <laughs> I, I was kind of noticed. Hmm.